we're living in a multi-dimensional universe, and there's at least 11 dimensions. Otherwise, the universe would collapse. Each dimension is a 90-degree angle right above the next one, compactified. So they're sitting right on top of us. So within less than a Planck unit of space above you, there is another dimension that actually exists with a whole other universe happening simultaneously while we're sitting right here. Wild. That's hard to fathom. It's hard to it's yeah. hard to fathom. So right here where we're sitting right now, there's a whole nother dimension of, of a whole nother universe yeah. happening, life taking place. Yes. Right in the same space that right, we are. Right, right, right here. Right here where we are. Right here. Vast too. Vast. Just as vast as ours is vast. And uh, from higher dimensions, they experience time differently. Time really doesn't exist. The past, present, and the future happen all at once. So somebody, for example, uh, from the fifth dimension would look at us, and they'd be able to see us. Imagine us in this building here, but imagine when I first walked in, and imagine us in here, and imagine me like in the bathroom or something. They'd be able to see us in all the different rooms. The different rooms represent different time frames mm. of existence within this structure. So they could see the past, present, and future at the same time. Uh, you know, so it's pretty cool. Weird stuff starts happening the higher the dimensions you go. So is the idea that when you're in a higher dimension, you can only see, you can see below lower dimensions, but you can't see dimensions above you? Exactly. Unless you have the capability of matching. First, you have to obtain the frequency of a higher dimension and then match that frequency to be able to walk in. So and match the frequency. Yeah. So, for example, um, OK, my hand is stopped now by this table. Right. right. Why is it stopped? I'm not really touching the table. There's repulsion going on, electromagnetic repulsion between the electrons in my hands repelling the electrons in the table. You don't really touch anything. Now, if I can match the subatomic frequency of the atoms in this chunk of wood here on this table I could, uh, with my hand, I would be able to pass my hand right through this table unscathed. Why? Because atoms are 99.999% empty space. Nothing is really here. Everything is only a light wave slowed down to a particular frequency. And so if you can match frequencies, you can merge with things. You can walk through walls and all that kind of stuff. The things that are seen paranormal could be advanced beings have tapped into some type of uh, understanding of how to match different frequencies in our dimension and appear apparition apparitional or, or, or paranormal. But in true reality, they could just be taking a peek in.